hello you're welcome to this lesson in this video you're going to solve this question i have on the screen the question says we should find the value of r given that the voltage across the 500 ohms resistor is 2.5 volts okay so to find r the first thing i'll do is to solve for i2 first okay and i2 is the current flowing through the 50 ohms resistor and then the 500 ohms resistor so i can find i2 since I know the voltage drop across the 500 ohms resistor, so I'm going to have I2 to be equal to 2.5 volts divided by the 500 ohms, and this will give us a value of 0.005 amperes. So now that we know this value, we can find the voltage drop across the 50 ohms resistor, and that will be equal to I2, which is 0.005 times the 50 ohms okay and this will give us a value of 0 0.25 volts okay so at this point to find the voltage drop across the resistor arm i'm going to apply the concept of loops here okay so i will consider this direction to be the positive direction so that means that the voltage drop across the resistor R, which I'll name as VR, will be equal to the sum of the, the voltage drops across the 50 ohms resistor and then the 500 ohms resistor. So I'm going to have 2.5 volts plus 0.25, right? And then this will give us a value of 2.75 volts. So that will be the voltage drop across the resistor R. Okay. So now how do you find the actual value of R? We know that the voltage drop across this resistor here, okay, will be VR and then that will be equal to I1 multiplying R. So R will be equal to VR over what I1, right? And we already know the value of what VR. So what's left for us is I. So how do you find the value of what I1? okay so let's look at how you are going to do this so to find the value of i1 okay we can use the formula i to be equal to i1 plus what i2 where i1 will be equal to i minus what i2 so you see that before you can find i1 you will need the value of what i and i2 but we already know i2 already which means that we will have to find the value of what i so how do you find the value of i I is the current flowing through the 550 ohms resistor, right? So you have to find I. And to find I, you must know the voltage drop across the 550 ohms resistor. And you can easily do that by using uh, the node analysis, right? Where we can see that the voltage drop across the 550 ohms resistor will be, will be equal to the 12 volts okay which will be the voltage at this node minus the voltage at this node which will be the vr so that will be 12 minus 2.75 right so when we do this we are going to get 9.25 and this will be the voltage drop across the 550 ohms resistor so we can use this to find the value of i right we are going to have i to be equal to 9.25 divided by the total resistance which is, which is 550 okay and this will give us a value of 0 0.0168168 amperes right so that's the value of what i so now you can find i1 which will be equal to 0 0.0168 minus i2 which is 0 0.005 so we are going to get i1 okay to be equal to 0 0.0118 amperes okay so now that you know the value of i1 we can find the value of what r because you know the voltage drop across r so you are going to have r okay which is from this point to be what vr about i1 and we know vr to be 2.75 okay and then we know i1 to be 0 0.0118 okay so when you simplify this you're going to get the value of r to be 
233 ohms so that will be the value of r thank you very much for watching this video please make sure you subscribe to the channel and like this video thank you